Welcome to your weekly inspiration. I'm Joey Sampaga. And I'm Kathy Beckman. Howdy, Kathy. Hi, Joey. We're talking about today, you? Mind Over Matter. We're talking about Mind Over Matter, yes. and now we're going to get louder, too. That's it's right. It's going to be... Voice over matter or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you know, the matter is our body, right? Okay. So we've got to get our mind up and ready and exercised as well. Mm-hmm. So it's mind over matter. But, um, you know, when I send these out via email every week, I always put happy Friday. And it mm. a- occurred to me that, you know, maybe it's not a happy <laughs> Friday for everybody. I'm kind of making an assumption there. Uh-huh. And, uh, so I ask you to stop for a second and, and are you having a happy Friday or mm-hmm. whenever you happen to be viewing this, mm-hmm. are you having, having a happy day? Mm-hmm. Are you feeling happy? And if not, what are you feeling? So take, mm-hmm. take a second and kind of check in and how are you feeling? I actually <laughs> feel good today, Kathy. You know, yesterday was a different story because I had a lot of things going on in my head and I was thinking, oh gosh, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. So I was just very frantic yesterday. Well, and you know, and there's, um, it seems to be our society is a little bit frantic Mm. right now. There's a lot of people operating out of fear-based mentality. Um, You know, we see it all the time. If we're looking at the news, people are losing their jobs, Um, Mm -hmm. money is getting a little stressed Mm. out, and it's causing people to respond differently. I mean, even people are driving differently. They're making decisions differently, and it's not always from a happy place. Sure. You know? Sure. Um, I've gotten into a conversation many different conversations recently about people acting out of a fear-based mentality instead Mm. of just responding as they normally would. And it's really important that we keep our attitude up. And, you know, and Joey is probably the best personification of this. He's almost always in a good mood. It's really, (laughs) really rare that you see him not happy and kind of bouncing and bubbly and... (laughs) Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to accept that compliment. <laughs> well, you look like you were going to say no, something No, too, go but, ahead. Um, but he is. You know, it's really great. And you see, so you see people like Joey that you can pretty much guarantee that when you see him, he's going to have a smile for you. He's going to be up. He's going to have something positive to say. And then you all know there's people in your life that when you see him, mm. you can pretty much know, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. What are they going to tell me this time? Yeah, so <laughs> have to make a decision mm. as to um, how we're going to approach situations and how we let them affect us. You know, nobody else can make you feel bad mm-hmm. without your approval. That's right. You know? That's right. It's just like if somebody on the street said, you know, wow, Joey, you look great. It makes you feel good. But you know what? When Heather, your wife, mm. says, wow, honey, wow, Joey, you look great, it mm-hmm. means a lot more, doesn't sure. it? Sure, sure. And, and you take that on. I do. You know? Um, but we also have the same responsibility when people say negative things about us mm, or cut true. us off in traffic. Mm. Yes, and, and we, se- we tend to focus on those things a lot more. Exactly. Most people do. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was. I had a friend. She said that something happened to her four or five days before that, and she said, "You know, I keep replaying this story and retelling the story over mm-hmm. and over again." And she said, "Clearly, I need to get over this." <laughs> <laughs> she's like something that I should have only talked about for a minute or so, and she's like, "It's still harboring." Mm. So we need to make those choices. And science is telling us. Um, you know, Louise Hay has written a few books on it. She's got a DVD on healing your life, and she shares how she literally healed. She believes she healed her cancer through the thoughts. Change wow. your thoughts. And um, there's other um, public speakers that have shared the same things. Mm-hmm. Um, jo- Dr. Joe Dispenza. I've mentioned him a few times. Mm-hmm. I went to a seminar of his, and he's got a great book where he goes into the science and how you can literally rewire your brain. Mm. Where Where, you know, if something comes up like um, real estate, for Mm. instance. Okay. You know, some people's response to real estate is, that's awesome. It's where I've made my money. It's Mm -hmm, my career. mm -hmm. I love it. It's what I'm doing. Other people, when you say real estate, it's like, like, yeah, I'm never going to buy a house again. I got caught in the market, blah, blah, blah. So it's, you can literally, though, rewire your brain so that if you're one of the people that go, how did you do that? (laughs) If you physically say stop and change how you think about it, mm-hmm. you rewire your re- response oh, to nice. that. And I have yes. a little visualization that I'd really love everybody to do. Mm, okay. okay. So um, for all of you watching out there, please close your eyes. And Joey, you can go ahead okay. too. And with your eyes closed, are they closed? Mm-hmm. I know Joey, yours are. Yes. I hope everybody out there, yours are too. So close your eyes and imagine your favorite grocery store. Okay. 
So get a really clear vision of it. And now imagine that you're standing in front of that grocery store. It's a nice, warm, sunny day. The wind is blowing by. <sighs> Sorry. The wind is blowing. You can feel the warmth. You can feel the sun. And picture that you're now walking into that grocery store. Okay? And you're going to see the produce section. So walk over to the produce section. And you're looking for the lemons. So you find the lemons, you walk up to the lemons, and the lemons are in season right now, so they're big. They're bigger than normal, okay? So imagine how beautiful they are, how nice and yellow they are, and reach over and pick one up and put it in your hand. And feel that the lemon is a little bit cold to touch, and you can feel the roughness of the skin. And you can even bring it up to your face and smell it. Smell the nice, fresh lemon. Now bring it back down, and we're actually going to cut the lemon, and there happens to be a knife handy and available for you. So very carefully, it, while the lemon's in your hand, cut the lemon in half, okay? And take one half of the lemon and just put it to the side, and now you've got one half still in your hand. And you can feel, you can actually feel the juice kind of dripping out of your hand, okay? Now bring that lemon up to your face and up to your mouth, and now tilt your head back and squeeze the juice into your mouth and taste the juice. Okay, now open your eyes. Are you salivating? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, now, clearly there's no lemon here. <laughs> no, there isn't. But, uh... <laughs> that's a quick... <laughs> <laughs> But um, now this doesn't work for everybody, um, but it typically works for people. If you pray a lot or mm. if you meditate or visualize a lot, it's going to be it's going to come much more quickly. You may want to do this exercise a couple times. Mm. But for those of you that did feel it, I mm -hmm. mean, it's pretty quick proof that it's your mind That's right. that got that. That is a great <laughs> exercise. Great exercise. I love it. Me too. So the next time, <laughs> the next time that you're feeling stressed out or yes. angry, just think about what's going on internally in your body, and that mm. your DNA is all wrapped up, and you're not really, um, you're not, your immune system isn't functioning properly, mm -hmm. and all that. So take a moment and find a happy place. I actually have a song that is, it's, it's. I have a song that okay. every time it plays, I don't care what mood I'm in, it pulls me out of it. And I just so happen, there's somebody that I, um, Barbara St. John, I talk to her probably 10 times a day. Mm -hmm. So I set it as her ringtone. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> this way, every time she calls me, the song goes off and I'm immediately brought into a really good mood nice. if I happen to not be in a great mood. And what is a song? Well, now I'm going to show my age. Uh -oh. <laughs> but it's um, Prince. Okay. And it's um, Baby, I'm a Star. And it's oh, on the Purple Rain. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what, about 20 years ago? Mm. <laughs> yeah, maybe even more. Yeah, it actually is more. Yeah. It is more. Yeah. Because I remember I was in like high school when that came out. No, I was in like middle school. <laughs> yeah, I was in high school. I remember being on the bus going, 1999. I'm going to be so old in 1999. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I'm curious, what is your guys' favorite song yes. that, that brings you out of a funk? Uh, share that with us. We'd love to hear that in the uh, comments area. Please do. So until next week, have an inspired life. Or inspired white week. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Have an inspired wife. <laughs> there you go. Hi, Heather. <laughs> Have an inspired week. Bye. Bye.